Hi Leo, welcome into your mid-September 2024 Money and Career Tarot reading. I hope you're doing absolutely amazing out there. Let's do a beginning shuffle and just jump right into the cards and see what spirit has for us. Because if you're new, I'm a Leo Sun. No shocker there. But the Six of Wands and the Three of Wands, you are looking forward in the midst of the remainder of the month succeeding, uh, receiving and achieving victory left and right. This is a time for this Leo Collective to do better. It does feel like certain stresses in your life are taking a focus from the past. And I wouldn't be surprised if there's certain stresses that you have to deal with at work, at home. You could be someone like myself who runs a business at home, and that can be a bit tricky at times with the way people uh, say that you, uh, that surround you, uh, you know, if you live with other people, how they live, noise factors, energy, your spirituality could play into it, um, how you live could play into it. But it does feel like uh, it's a very spiritually connected, very intuitive time for you. You could be someone like myself, uh, once again, who uh, does have those two uh, powers, uh, uh, skills, if you will, intertwined with at least part of your work um, or fully. But it doesn't have to be to apply to be applicable for the remainder of this uh, month for you. It feels like you're going to be well thought out. You're going to be spoken through by spirit, whether you want to give credit to, to spirit for that or not. You need to uh, sign a document of importance. And for a lot of which that's on an app or online otherwise. Um, you need to make sure you're responding to emails and text messages of importance tying into work or an opportunity of importance or both to make sure that you don't get behind or not letting you fall behind anymore. Um, and that feels like that wording I didn't love because it feels like that saying that the spirits on your side at this time and moving forward have let you fall behind before. It just feels like uh, you're more guided at this point in general more protected than ever with the four of swords coming out because it feels like you at times have needed so much rest uh, in the past uh, and this is very recent for a lot drawn to the reading i can relate you know the amount of sleep i've been getting but it does feel like that is now supporting you having the amount of energy and resources otherwise to put so much quality energy uh, and effort towards this and that of importance. You step into a, for some, John, to the reading, a job of importance at this point along your path, even though it's not meant to uh, last forever, obviously. Um, and it's usually not the most enjoyable, or at least it varies, you know, from enjoy enjoyable to not. Um, and you make the best out of it. You even light up the, the room, the environment, when you step into it and do what you have to do. People get along more so um, and feel more invigorated when you're in their midst, when you're wrapped up with that situation. That's making the world of a difference and it's not going unnoticed. The effort that you're putting in consistently, and I want to say for some two situations, could be just one, and that's uh, not to say it's less significant, um, that's not going unnoticed. Now, I do feel as if you are on the move. Okay, I do feel as if somebody is shifting towards a new situation or something you once had and you're reacquiring it. But then I wouldn't be surprised if there are two uh, shifts taking place for somebody. You know, for example, for me, I know it's going to be a moving from this temporary living situation back to one in a different area in this same city that I stayed at, you know, before this. Um, and then after that, I'm shifting towards in that same area towards a new apartment. I haven't even acquired it yet, but I just know it's going to come to be. Um, gotta love being predictive and this connected and intuitive all the meanwhile. Um, but they're saying you're gifted, okay? You're talented, you're skilled, and this is being very much plopped in, into people's heads, their awareness around the world. Uh, it may very much help your business or to grow. Uh, it may definitely help you, uh, may definitely, uh, very contradicting there. It could definitely, uh, give you the chance to acquire an opportunity of importance. Um, don't be surprised as I'm seeing the Ace of Wands um, if you give birth to something new. Um, this has come up in both of the Taurus and um, the Libra reading that I did yesterday for their mid money and career reading. Um, and I randomly in the Libra reading said, check out Leo's reading when I meant to say Taurus's. There's something about the Libra Taurus 
um, and um, Libra, Taurus, uh, Leo, and even Aquarius collective that's feeling connected at this time. Those are the four signs I read for. Um, but at certain points, you need to remind yourself um, to slow it down. The expectations in a situation could be affecting you. The energy uh, in that situation, it could be your energy. Don't over caffeinate is what I'm hearing. Um, soften your voice is now also what's coming through. It makes the world of a difference. The Emperor card and the Two of Cups. There's a connection that's coming into play as you proceed in a very, again, methodical manner, but you um, are planning for a brighter future, for more success, more financial stability. There's significant amounts of money coming in the remainder of September to support what needs to continue, what needs to be uh, re-sparked or sparked in general, and even to make sure that you are prepared for certain expected and unexpected expenses in the future. It just feels like you have a good head on your shoulders and people are proud of you. People are supporting you. People are thanking you and people want to see you succeed. But it feels like with that, it's empowering you to feel the desire, the, the want, the need to succeed even more. It's this hunger for uh, something to grow. It's this hunger for, for some fame, but at the very least fortune right there's a wealthy future lying ahead and i feel like you've heard this from me from my guides and other spirits and from other readers before maybe even people in your life and for somebody through your dreams and this is a time where you're going to be feeling the possibilities are through the roof and it will help you feel motivated to achieve that wealthy rich future okay they're giving me the word in caps fortunate all right there's a fortunate vibe about you and this is coming through stemming from a very grateful way of being and proceeding and navigating all the meanwhile you're not feeling down in the dumps you're not feeling negative or pessimistic you're feeling motivated once again you're feeling um uh, you're feeling uh, thankful okay it's as if you're able to manifest with the magician uh, once again to you're feeling the ability to manifest more for yourself and this is at least partially stemming from that grateful thankful way of being um stopping and smelling the roses and at all the meanwhile rebalancing regrounding yourself you sometimes slip up on your words but then you receive abundance soon after that and it reminds you that things are extremely purposeful within your world along your path um yeah abundance is going to be overflowing from your cup don't be surprised don't be surprised when people want to give you something uh, to help you succeed it could be a gift in a physical sense right a physical item or two it could be um, an opportunity it could be uh, something that they had and now they're giving it to you and it could be one of uh, the two of, that i just mentioned your heart is going to be uh, excuse me your heart is going to be feeling very uh full okay you're going to be feeling that your purity your good nature is paying off for you big time now and even when it comes to your past it's like all of your actions uh the energy and resources you put forth towards things of importance and the kind acts uh you know from your past are paying off for you now it's time for you to win it's time for you to succeed and it's time for you to feel at least a little bit secretive it's like you're going to be pushed to put yourself into the limelight at least at certain points if not the entirety of the remainder of the month for some but then there are other points where you need to keep your cards close to your chest um not everybody in your midst is to be trusted is what i'm getting not everybody in your midst is to be trusted and i think you already know this but you may need a reminder because you may overshare you may be an overshare like me you know in general but I do feel as if it's a time for you to be more selective and strategic in that sense. The Eight of Wands, you're going to be feeling very talkative and that definitely um, ties into what I just said. Now, it does feel like the remainder of the month will feel like it's speeding on by, okay? You're going to be feeling like things are just flowing as well as I did have the Fool card before at the bottom of the deck. Um, but they want the Three of Cups to pair with the Four of Wands you have reasons to celebrate there's something about you and two other people at work or maybe uh when it comes to your business it could be you know completely 
a completely different situation. But I do feel as if there's a significance to how you uh, develop this uh, uh, bonding, right? This dynamic between the three of you. But um, I do also feel like there's a lot of one-on-one uh, uh, -on -one conversations and joking around, maybe laughter, uh, reminiscing, uh, updating taking place. And I do feel as if for somebody drawn to the reading, at least one person, you can relate in regards to that one-on-one -on -one being at a distance. Say you're putting yourself out there on social media like I am. And so naturally, more than one person individually, you know, on their own, is connecting with your energy, all right? And listening to you very closely and observing all the meanwhile. You're changing, I'm getting that as well. I said that very differently. You're changing, Leo, and that's coming through with your work uh, when it comes to how you're proceeding and even reflecting and considering uh, thinking over in the remainder of September. I feel like I haven't stopped speaking, um, you know, this entire remainder of the month. But the Knight of Cups, your caring nature is definitely being shown to the world, all right? People aren't forgetting you. This is coming through very significantly. People can't seem to forget this Leo nature because you just present yourself in such an epic way. You are feeling very considerate. You're feeling very much the need to assist people. When you feel the need to um help somebody please don't question it because i really feel that's intuitively and spiritually guided but you're going to be feeling um this need to connect with people to the point of them succeeding more and then don't be surprised when this helps you achieve more abundance and succeed uh to the furthest extent it help things uh, progress if you will you're going to be feeling as if your, cu your cup is meant to uh, overflow with even more abundance, prosperity moving forward than you can even imagine. And you may have an, uh, a partial vision at, or expectation as to how much it's meant to overflow or be filled up. There's also a focus on you filling up your own cup, uh, you know, realistically in order to the, uh, for the following day or the following week. Uh, even the following month, you know, being uh, October and, uh, and whatnot, um, in order to proceed with confidence, to proceed, uh, you know, realistically once again and have the energy and resources to do so. But look at this, Justice, my friend. You have been through the ringer through a lot when it comes to your money and career, and now it's time to receive this justice and see things grow and prosper for you and uh, feel the assistance and guidance that you truly deserve. I really feel like you're going to feel at certain points in the remainder of the month on top of the world. I just heard the message very clearly. I did it. I did it. Whether something coming in for you, Leo, or something progressing finally at, the, at a reasonable or you know quicker pace, it could be both. Uh, I feel like it took forever, right? Or it took a long time. It feels like a long time coming. It was on point as far as the, the delay or the um, slow progression up until this point. Um, the coming and going is what I'm hearing. When you find yourself being honored, eat it up, okay? Eat it up. You're going to feel a little impatient at certain points, uh, maybe a little frustrated at certain points. They're giving me a moment of me making milkshakes at my serving job. It just frustrates the hell out of me uh, those milkshakes and then you know the nerve for a family of like seven to come in they all order milkshakes for their kids and for themselves and then they don't tip and it's like do you understand how frustrating that is anyways but um that is the life of a server but when you find yourself either um getting a little bit irritable or just impatient take a deep breath and recognize it's literally a small obstacle a small moment in the midst of the larger picture of things, okay? And it's in the midst of what I feel, a temporary situation um, coming to be. It's going to feel like a very powerful, very significant, busy time for you. I have literally, I wanna say almost half of the deck or maybe a third of which on the table, kind of very neatly overlapping each other. 
there's a significance to things changing and, and feeling like uh, the worst is coming to an end or the difficulty is coming to an end. But once again, I wouldn't be surprised if there's more than one uh, or at least one significant ending of importance. This is a time, Leo, of so much abundance and support and guidance. Get ready for the remainder of September, okay? So I hope this was truly helpful. Please don't forget to book a personal reading with myself. Everything is down below. You can, of course, keep that reading uh, general and uh, leave it up to spirit to see what you need to hear uh, at this time the most, or you can choose a subject or two of importance that you're curious about. I am sending you so much love and light. We'll meet here again soon.